Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are starting a three day today, a three day that looks actually pretty decent on paper. It's a one, two, two. Um, so if everything goes smoothly, then it'll be fine, which today is already not going smoothly <laughs> because our one leg today, <clears throat> It's weird because they haven't delayed it yet, but I know it's going to be delayed because, well, I guess I don't know. They could find us a different plane, but I really don't think they're going to do that. So our inbound flight is delayed. It's not going to be getting in until at least 30 minutes after our scheduled departure time. So when you talk about them getting in 30 minutes late and then they have to deplane, which will take probably 20 minutes, then you have to clean the plane. Then we have to board, which takes about 30 minutes. So, you know, add all that together, that's over an hour. So, yeah, we're definitely not leaving on time unless they just find a random plane somewhere, but I just don't really see that happening. So, I don't know why they haven't listed it as a delay yet, but first leg is probably going to be delayed. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that's kind of... A bummer about this trip is we just don't really have long layovers. I think they're both like about 13 hours. So enough time for me to go to the gym, but that'll probably be it. I'm not really going to be able to go out and do much because the hotels we're going to be staying at are probably not going to be around anything. We're laying over in Vegas tonight and then tomorrow I think we're laying over in Newark. But it's 4th of July weekend, so all my flights except for the early morning one tomorrow I think or maybe it was the last day but numbers could change but they were all very full um except for there was one that was not but honestly lately a flight will be wide open and then the very next day it's like slam packed full so they could all end up being um full but yeah let's get this holiday weekend started. I do finish early on Monday, so I think we're done at like 11.45 or something like that, or maybe 12. So I'll be able to get home and then I'll be able to participate in 4th of July activities in the evening, so that'll be good. I won't miss out on everything. My family's going to the week, to the week, <laughs> to the lake this weekend. So I am missing out on that, which is a bummer, but um, I should be able to get to do some of the 4th of July stuff, but we've got about 20 minutes till sign in. So let's go head to the airport and maybe they'll have magically found an airplane by the time I get there. The only one on the bus today, which is rare because lately it's been slam packed full. <laughs> So they delayed our flight by an hour, which I knew they would. So I'm going to edit some vlogs in the crew room. The last video I showed you our meal service, but this is the oven that we used to heat up all the meals. So small. Also, they gave me two different salad dressings. They're like not consistent, so that's fun. We just got to the hotel in Vegas. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I do not like working Vegas flights because you just really never know what you're going to get. Like, Vegas is a party city, so when people are coming to Vegas, they're ready to party. And out of all the flights I've ever worked, I've had the most issues on flights going to Vegas. <laughs> and I thought we were going to be like that today because when I was doing pre-departures for my first class, like, they were drinking me dry. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a long, awful flight but it ended up being fine. Like after that first round of drinks, everybody was pretty much good. And then once everybody got the meals, they were chill. And I don't know why the service the other day that I did in my last video, I don't know why it took me four hours because today's service only took me like an hour and a half or two hours. So I'm not really sure why it took so long the other day, but I guess it was because there was so much going on in between and the dessert service was a little bit more extravagant than it was today. Today we just had like these pretty little ice cream cups or a fruit and cheese plate. So it was easier to um, hand out. But 
Our layover is very short. It originally was 13 hours, but we were delayed and we just got to the hotel. It's five o'clock or 5.15 and we, our van tomorrow is at 3.45. So what is that? It's like 11 hours right now, but a crew member and I are gonna go to Caesar's Palace and get dinner there because she was looking at wanting to go and so I was just like, if you wanna go, I'll go with you because why not? That's what layovers are for, to go out and do stuff. So we're gonna go meet in just a few minutes and do that. I'll show you my uniform really quick and then I'll show you my view because I got a nice view of the mountains. But I'm wearing the um, crosshatch shirt and long sleeve, which all my short sleeve uh, shirts are in the wash so mistake to wear long sleeves but literally one of the days I had to wear it and so I figured it would do today because today's our shortest day but I have the jacket and then I'm wearing the skirt black or I guess kind of sheer tights because my new tights are also in the wash <laughs> so that's the uniform for today every day I'm wearing a different uniform pretty much like I'll wear the skirt again tomorrow but I have a different um, shirt and then the last day I'm gonna wear the dress but let me change out this uniform really quick put on clothes and go meet my other crew member for dinner so that we can go out have fun but then also get back at a reasonable time to be able to get enough sleep for this 3:45 a.m. van so here's my view of the mountains I've never stayed at this hotel in Vegas before, so usually we stay a lot closer to the Strip. But I love the mountains, they're so pretty. All right, quick fit check. I didn't have hardly anything, so I just threw on what I had. It's cool, guys. I don't think people in Vegas will really care that much. Probably be too drunk to even look at what I'm wearing. <laughs> She's so excited. This was like the one thing she wanted to see. Mini cocktail garden. Vanderpump cocktail garden. So beautiful. All the flowers. It's so pretty in the sun. I know. Oh, look at the ceiling. Oh, we need to get the sign over there. Oh. Look at the inside. So this place is family style. This, I feel like you can't tell how big it is. In the, My hand. This is her hand. Does that show anything? A little. Like it's ginormous. Hold on, wait. Salt shaker. Like, look how big this thing of pasta is. I still feel like it doesn't do it justice. No. It's huge. It's huge. I'm speechless. You guys, we each had like probably three servings. <laughs> <laughs> There's still like two full plates. I'm absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> we have lunch and dinner for tomorrow though, both of us. Exactly. Easily. Exactly. I mean, so much freaking food. Maybe could feed our whole crew. Literally. This could be a family of six. Yep. My lips are so chapped. They've been getting so chapped in the air lately. Like, as soon as the flight takes off, it's like they start burning. It's crazy. But it is 8.30. Our van time, I think I said earlier, is 3.45 in the morning. <laughs> so my alarm's gonna be going off at 2.45. So if I go to bed right now, that's gonna be six hours, which we can function off of six hours. But 
It's also gonna be an early morning flight, so I feel like it'll go pretty smoothly. But we're gonna wash our face really quick and then get in the bed, call it a night. I'm glad I went out. We had a lot of fun. Um, you guys know me, if people are down to go out, then I'm gonna like go out and explore, even if it's a short layover, like that's what this job is all about for me. And so if someone is like hinting at wanting to go out and do something, then I'm always down. So I'm glad we went out, but now it is time for rest. So good night guys. I will see you in the morning for day two. Hopefully everything goes smoothly and we don't have a shorter than our already short layover. <laughs> So that I'll be able to catch up on all the rest I'm losing, all the rest that I'm losing tonight. Yeah, is that what I want to say? Yeah. But anyways, good night, guys. See you in the morning. It is early, guys, <laughs> but it is day two, and it is time to go catch the van. Um, I had the sad realization last night as I went to go try and take my medicine that I left my giant green bottle, water bottle somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. I'm gonna double check with the front desk, but I'm pretty sure I left it on the van yesterday. So that's sad. Had that water bottle for about a year, probably a little bit more than a year. And I used to leave it everywhere. So to be honest, I'm surprised it lasted this long. And if it is downstairs in the lobby, I'll be like shocked. <laughs> but so sad, I don't have any water. But I just need to pack my food into my lunchbox and then we're gonna go downstairs and I think they have coffee down there for us. Um, so we're gonna make some coffee. You guys are not gonna believe this. My bottle was in the lobby. <laughs> Just can't get away from you, can I, buddy? And then they also gave us a grab-and-go bag for breakfast. Let's see what we got. So we've got a little breakfast burrito. Muffin. That's good. I like chocolate chip muffin. Oh, some. Oh, apple juice. I thought it was. Oh, here's. I was like, what's this food for? Here's the yogurt. So nice. So, our flight out of Vegas is a breakfast flight. So, for breakfast, we offer a fruit tray with a side of yogurt and granola, or a egg omelet with sausage, potatoes, a little side of fruit and yogurt. And then also comes with a side of bread so we have biscuits um or here's some croissants and then there's cinnamon rolls in the back okay our flight to newark is delayed so i'm gonna take a little nap in the crew room because i'm tired because i did not get enough sleep last night we just got to the hotel in newark i heated up my leftover penne pasta from last night and what a day today has been and I will tell you guys all about it but I need to get out of this uniform and I need to eat first <laughs> before I lose my mind so we're gonna do that and then I will tell you guys about my day because it was crazy and I'm yeah okay so what a day it started out super early you know we had 3 45 in van time even though technically for us that would have been <clears throat> 6 45 a.m but still um getting up when it's still dark outside is not easy ever but it started out looking like it was going to be a great day you know we left vegas on time and then that was like such an easy flight like so easy everyone wanted to sleep i guess because they had all partied in vegas and then they were just ready to sleep and get home so it was like such an easy flight and literally 15 minutes before landing on that flight i look and our inbound flight for our next flight was going to be getting in like 45 minutes before we took off so it was probably going to be cutting it close to leave on time but it would have been you know just a few minutes delayed if it ended up taking a delay and then five minutes later, one of my crew members comes up and is like, did you see we're delayed? And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, the inbound plane's not getting in until um, two, is, yeah, isn't getting in until two. And I was like, 
what? I just checked. It's supposed to get in at 1 because we were supposed to leave at 1.47 or something like that. And she's like, no, it's not supposed to get in until 2. So I checked and they switched our aircraft. And so they switched our aircraft for another flight that had left on time, but it was just supposed to get in at 2 and we were supposed to leave at 1.45. So we got delayed an hour. <clears throat> and that flight from Charlotte to Newark, my word. So first of all, the boarding process was like all over the place. It took so long. People were having so much trouble getting their bags to the bins and there was just a lot of just unnecessary chaos during boarding. Then we get in the air and I'm going through to my preferences and this passenger in first class, I go to their row and I ask like, do you want anything to drink? And they're like, I need you to hear this. And I'm like, okay. And at first I thought it was gonna be about another passenger in first class, but then they start going, this flight is delayed and, oh, actually before that, before we get to that. So we had a long taxi on that flight because we went to one runway and then all of a sudden the wind picked up and it was really hot in Charlotte. So with all of that in mind, we ended up not being able to take off on the original runway we went to. So we had to go taxi around and go to a different runway. So taxi was like extra long today for that flight. That was already delayed. <laughs> so anyway, so we get up in the air and I go through and I do my preferences and this passenger is just really frustrated. And you know, so they're like, I need, to, I need you to hear this. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? And they're like, we were already delayed. And then we sat and did that 40 minute taxi and that's ridiculous. And I have this flight that I have to catch and you ruin my, you ruin my travel plans and da, 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 and going like on and on and about how the captain should have known better than to go on that runway. And I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> what? And so like cause when he when they first start talking about like it's your fault yada 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 i was like uh there's nothing i can do about a delay like i literally i was here like i had no control over that delay and i didn't want it to happen either so then they're like well the captain shouldn't have gone to that runway and i'm just sitting there like the captain also couldn't control the weather like ATC told them, like, told the captain to go to that runway, like, he, he didn't just go pick a runway to pick a runway, like, the weather caused us to have to take the other runway, like, I don't, I'm just sitting here, like, getting berated by this person about all these things that I had literally have no control over, and so, event like, it was just going on and on and on, so eventually I was just, like, Listen, I have no control over this. I'm sorry that you feel this way, but like, if you want to talk to the captain about that, then I can get him on the phone and you can talk to him about it. But I, there's nothing I can control in this situation. And <clears throat> so that finally like calmed the person down. And so I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go out with my business. And so I was like, is there anything you want to drink? No. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> So, so I was already like kind of a little bit and like a little tizzy about that. Then I have a flight attendant come up to me and from the back and she goes, how good are you at, how good are you at problem solving? Cause we got an issue in the back and I'm like, oh my gosh, not another issue. So catering has been a hot mess in Charlotte. Like I've already mentioned this before in my videos, but basically on some of our flights that are under 800 miles we don't get catered at all like they literally give us water and ice so that means the only thing we have is what's been left over from previous flights and depending on where they came from that's like nothing everything's gone so we literally like only have water and ice so there were these people that were sitting in one of our rows it's called main cabin extra and it includes a free drink and this person really wanted a drink and they didn't have anything in the back because we didn't get catered and they were getting really upset with and I guess all the flight in the back had tried to like figure out a way to handle the situation and because for our like I know this is annoying but our procedure is to not take anything from first class and put it into main cabin because when one person sees you doing that then everybody wants something 
and first class is barely enough for the 20 people up there it's not good for 190 so anyways she was like we've tried to talk to them about how we just don't have alcohol and it's not getting through like go see if you can talk to them and I'm like oh my gosh so I go back and I'm just like hey what's the problem and they're like we want alcohol but they said to talk to you and yada 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 and I'm like so the issue is not that they don't want to give you alcohol like that's not it I was like we just don't have anything on board to give you and you know so then it turns into the well they shouldn't be selling these seats if you can't provide this and, and I'm like yeah absolutely I, I get that and I'm like unfortunately they've just been throwing us out here to apologize to you guys and that's like how it is right now which is like crazy but like I, there's nothing I can do about it anyways they're you know just going on and on about yada yada, yada. so I'm like I'm like, since I'm a nice person, um, I'm just gonna go up and I will give you a glass of wine from first class because if I keep going the way this is going, I'm gonna like hit a breaking point, if, especially if anything else goes wrong, which... <laughs> uh, so I'm like, I, I was like, we just don't have anything in the back, but I don't mind going up and checking my carts and seeing if I can get you something whatever so I go give them a wine and then it was fine then <laughs> we're deplaning and this person is about to pass out trying to get their bag out of the bin and so I like at first I didn't realize what was going on at first I thought they were just having trouble getting their bag out of the bin and so some other passengers were, like waving me over so I go over there and <clears throat> So I go over and then the person starts like kind of stumbling and I'm like, whoa, like what's going on? I'm like, do you need something? Like, are you hot? Like, do you need water? Do you need food on your stomach? Like what? And they're like, no, 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 I need to get off the plane. I have to go meet so-and-so and I'm supposed to be taking care of them. And then they start, they like take a step and then they like fall completely over into the seat. And I'm like, do you need me to call like medic, the medics? Cause like I you don't need to be walking around and they're like no 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 and I'm like why don't I get you a wheelchair then like you don't need to be walking no 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 and like I'm like just sit down for a second until you can like regain your balance no 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 and like would not do anything I suggested and I'm like I I'm like not physically strong enough to hold you down I'm not authorized to do that either so I'm like you're refusing it so I ended up just, I mean, they ended up getting off the plane and walking on the jet bridge and I don't know, I guess they made it out fine because I didn't hear any commotion. So I guess they didn't pass out on the jet bridge, but oh my gosh, what a flight. And I don't know why it was that chaotic. I don't, I don't know why it was that chaotic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, days like that are like, like days like today are tough and I'm not gonna lie if I was a new hire and I was having to deal with like this kind of stuff all the time like I don't know if I would still be doing this job guys like I have so much respect for the new hires that are out here and like doing a great job and have a great attitude because it is rough right now like very 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 rough so any flight attendants that watch this like just know I appreciate you guys and we're gonna get through this hopefully sooner rather than later but yeah it was it was rough today I had to take multiple like breaks and just like take deep breaths before I literally lost my mind on the plane so yeah I feel like I need to go to the gym to like blow off steam but I also this layover is so short like I'm already at if I went to bed right now, it would be 10 hours, which is usually how much I, how, how long I sleep at home, which is like a lot. <laughs> Probably because I'm just so exhausted from this job. <laughs> so <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to go to the gym. I think I'm going to shower because by the time I shower and unwind a little bit, it'll probably be close to eight hours, which will be good. Because if tomorrow goes as poorly as today did, then I'm going to need rest because I feel like me being tired today also made my irritability like higher like it was so much easier for me to 
get in a tizzy, but <clears throat> yeah, that was rough. Like, that's what I thought our Vegas flight was gonna be like yesterday, and it wasn't. It was the Newark flight, so. Whew. But we made it here, guys. <laughs> and we're just gonna enjoy the quiet. And we are just gonna, like, fingers crossed that tomorrow goes smoothly. It's an early day. But the thing about today was our first early flight was so long that we ended up having an afternoon flight for the second one. And there's more stuff is prone to go wrong in the afternoon. So tomorrow we have two early flights. So hopefully everything goes smoothly. We get done on time. I can go home. I can enjoy fireworks and family. And then I have six days off. So I'll get plenty of rest. So yeah. But... For now, I think I have to finish editing a vlog that I'm probably gonna post today. Um, or well, today as in, this will wait, be way before this video comes out, but. <clears throat> so I'm probably gonna do that and then shower and then call it a night because I'll work out this week at home. But yeah, what a rough, chaotic day. Ay, ay, ay. And our flight to Chicago in the morning is canceled. <laughs> so, yay. Since I'm the one, I'm gonna go down and get everybody's room number. I'm gonna go ahead and call them and let them know what's going on. I don't have any updates with what we're gonna be doing tomorrow, but I just wanna let them know that there's gonna be changes before it gets way too late because we do have such an early, or we were supposed to have such an early show for tomorrow. I don't wanna call them in the middle of the night and be waking them up, so. I'm just gonna call, let them know we've been canceled. As soon as crew scheduling calls me and lets me know what we're doing, then I'll probably just write a note and put it under their door so that I don't wake them up. But yeah, let's go call the crew, let them know what's going on. This elevator is just stuck open. <laughs> it keeps trying to close, but the door can't close. All right, so crew scheduling just called me. We were originally supposed to work the 6 a.m. flight to Chicago and then work the 9 a.m. flight to Charlotte. Now we are going to be deadheading on the 6.59 a.m. flight to um, Chicago and then still working the 9 o'clock flight to Charlotte. Our deadhead is supposed to land or like get into the gate at 8.30 so our Charlotte flight is probably going to be a little bit delayed because they're probably going to be waiting for us to get in but <clears throat> I was hoping they would just deadhead us to Charlotte. <laughs> just make it easy but they did not do that so yeah but at least we're only working one tomorrow so hopefully that's the only hiccup for tomorrow like really really fingers crossed that that's the only thing that goes wrong tomorrow because I don't know if I can handle any more chaos this trip it's 9 15 a little bit later than I wanted to go to bed but before I go to sleep I'm gonna do a quick little I will study and then hopefully I can get some good rest. Good morning guys. It is day three. Go home day. It's also the 4th of July. Happy 4th. We're about to get on the van to catch our deadhead and today's going to be better than yesterday. That's the vibe today. <laughs> so wish me luck. We're almost done guys. All right, starting out go home day strong. We all got upgraded to first class, so we love that. So this little plane over here, I'm like zoomed really far in, but when I zoom out, it looks like it's just floating. <laughs> so they must be about to land or something. Like, look. <laughs> it looks like it's just like sitting there. It's not even moving. sweet little note the agent at um, Chicago left me. So cute. Here's our AM snack basket. We've got some mixed nuts and then we've got a few different types of granola bars. 
little almond rice pops and then this um, granola. Today was a great day guys. It was a really good day. Woke up this morning. One of my trips later in the month dropped. We love that. So now I'm going to try and rearrange my schedule so I can get the first weekend of my family's vacation off. Right now I have five days or six days of it so I just need the other two so I'm gonna try and rearrange some stuff to get that um we just the deadhead was on time for the most part we left a little bit late because they were doing something with maintenance but we still got in on time and then our flight to Charlotte was a, like 15 minutes delay but we were able to close the door five minutes early from that delay so it was 10 minutes late, but we made up all the time in the air. So we got in on time. So we love that. Definitely made up for yesterday because yesterday was whew, a lot, but you know, the trip as a whole was a mess out of the three days. None of the days went according to plan. Um, and out of five legs that I worked to this trip, all of them were delayed, but one. So yeah. As anticipated, holiday weekend was crazy. The airport today is actually not that crowded. Usually like on an actual holiday, there's not very many people flying. It's always the days leading up to and then the days after that everybody's flying when the airports are pretty crazy. So our, so the flight we were originally supposed to work today that canceled was very light. Like I think there was only 90 or like 102 people on it. So we would have had like 60 seats open or 50 or something like that and then the one that we ended up deadheading on I thought I just assumed they were gonna put all the people that were on our flight onto that one and they didn't I don't know what ended up happening to those people so that flight ended up having like 45 seats open and then our flight to Charlotte had 20 seats open so we weren't slime packed full today which is a first um but yeah, today went really, really smooth. I'm so grateful for that because after yesterday I needed a break. Um, but yeah, a great way to kick off 4th of July getting home when we're supposed to. Um, but we are going to head home. I won't close out the video yet. I'm going to, so the church I go to, they have this program and it's called a men's accountability group. And it's for men that struggle with alcohol addiction or drug addiction. I, th I think really any kind of addiction. Um, they, it's a group for them. They all come together and it's kind of like a Bible study type thing for them. But every 4th of July, they do this huge fireworks show at one of the guys' houses. So we're going to go to the, that tonight. So I'll show you guys all the fireworks. I'll put some fireworks in to close out the video. Um... So we're not gonna close it out just yet, but we are done flying. I have six days off, so we love that. Even though this weekend I'm gonna be flying to Boston to go to a friend of mine's wedding. So I was able, I think I told you guys a couple videos ago, they didn't give me that weekend off originally, but I was able to trade out of my trip into a different trip to get that weekend off. So love that. So we're in a good mood guys, that was a good day. <laughs> good day. <laughs> Thank goodness. Ozzy. So Ozzy just got home. Did you have a good pool day? He was at the pool with my mom when I got home. Hi, baby. Just went to belly button. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> oh. Aww. Oh, shoppers. Hey. There you are. How are you? Hey, Anthony. Anthony. You know who these people are? Hey, Aunt. Hey, Aunt. Second family. No. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. Glad you all are here. Well, I'm right, looking Anne. forward to it. Mom wants you. Dad, We're ready for the fireworks. Getting all the fireworks ready. This year they don't have the pallets. Oh, they kind of do.
They did such a good job with the fireworks this year. They were gorgeous. They had so many, it was so good. That show lasted like 20 minutes, it was great. But all of that is done in someone from our church's front yard. Like, So it's just crazy that they invite that many people over. Like last year, there was definitely more people than this year. I think because last year, a lot of stuff was still shut down. So people couldn't really go on vacations and stuff like that for the week of the 4th. Um, but they still probably had a couple hundred people at their house. So it's kind of wild to think that that's a thing. But unfortunately, I think this is the last year they're going to be doing it. But um, yeah, 4th of July has come to an end. Um, this is a pretty chaotic trip, but we made it through. We're going to relax. We've got six days off, although um, in a couple of days I'm going to be flying to Boston. I think I already told you guys that to go to my friend's wedding, so hopefully everything goes smoothly trying to get there and back <laughs> with all these cancellations and stuff. Hopefully I don't get stuck somewhere, but... <clears throat> Yeah, that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys all had a wonderful 4th of July. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.